great. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> Good afternoon. My name is Michelle Homami, and I am the director of operations with the Rendon Gallery. And on behalf of our founder, Maria Greenshield Zeman, and our executive director, Cindy Schwartzstein, I want to thank you for joining us today. Uh, the Rendon Gallery, which we're about Video to talk into. Oh, sorry. Thank you for muting. Uh, the Rendon Gallery is a contemporary art pop up space with an artist in residence program. Uh, we launched in 2018 with, and we're a supportive platform for a diverse range of artists, both local and international. Um, we are inspired by the rich cultural history of downtown LA and our programming is focused on developing a creative hub and energizing LA's artistic community. What you're about to see uh, behind me and that we're gonna walk into is our latest pop-up space in downtown LA, uh, which is currently housed Susan Feldman's uh, solo show titled Mock, which sounds, stands for My Own City. Um, Susan happens to be the third artist in residence that we've had in this space, but the first artist to do a solo show here. So we're very honored to have her here and to be showing you guys what she's put together. Um, we are planning to continue our artist in residence program at the future of the Renan Gallery once we establish our permanent location in the Arts District. So what we're about to go into is our 60 minute program. We'll have um, an exhibition walkthrough and an artist talk with artist Susan Feldman and art critic, curator and author, Shanna Nis Dambro. Um, stay tuned at the end, we'll open up the stage for you guys if you have any questions um, and answers that the, the artist can answer. And lastly, if you guys weren't able to see the exhibition or wanna come back again, it'll be open through October 7th. So please go to our website at therendongallery.com or you can email me at michelle at the Rendon and um, come see it. And we're excited to have you. So without further ado, I'm gonna switch my camera and welcome you to Mock. All right. Susan's just a little DJ out as her sideline. And so here is Su and I'll take it over with Susan and Shana. Hi, Hi everybody out there in TV land. Welcome to Mock. Welcome to Mock. So I'm Shana Nice Damra, your friendly local art critic. Um, I live here now. <laughs> in my own city, but the my in my own city belongs to the amazing artist Susan, Thank you. who is here today to show us around. Yeah, give you the mock tour. The mock tour. Yeah. My so, own city, not, right. it's, it's a real tour. It's a, it's a real tour of a mock city, of which is a real city, city which is my own city mock. Yeah. Okay. So I, we could spend a, a week in here. Yeah, it is a city. Um, we're not going to do that. But I suggested that coffee is always a good place to start. I'm down. Let's so what we're going to do okay. is um, we're basically just going to take a walk through the city. And we're going to speak with Susan about her inspirations and pause over some of the pieces, our favorites, the ones with the grooviest stories mm -hmm. and everything. Um, so while we're hanging out here at the breakfast joint, everybody out there, get yourself settled. If you need some coffee, whatever you need. Before we get started, for those of you who don't know, um, Susan, tell everybody just a little bit about what Mock is, where it exists in the world, how it came into being, you know, what it's made of, just right. let people know where we are. Right, okay. So um, I started building Mock pre-pandemic and at that time I was building these little houses and I thought you know I really am enjoying building these houses I want to build more and um, then I thought well I not just houses I want to build buildings and then that kind of in my head I, I it mushroomed into hey why don't I build a city and um do I talk to zoom or you I don't talk to zoom it's fine nobody's a professional so, anymore okay. So, um, and so, so you're in our studio yeah. and your work has always combined 
bound materials, elements of construction, layering, even the wall work is always very dimensional. Yeah. Maybe you'll paint or create an abstract image, something like that, and you'll build out from there. Um, a lot of architectural and construction materials mm -hmm. kind of signifiers mm -hmm. all right. Yes. And then at a certain point, I think we can understand it's a natural progression for this to come off the wall. Right. And into the space. Right. And houses is a natural way to go mm -hmm. on the monopoly board of life, yeah. right? You start yeah. with houses. Yeah. And then it grows. Yeah. And you're like, well, the people that live in these houses need a place to eat, exactly. a, a library, yeah. a movie theater, a dispensary, a subway system, yes, a graffiti wall, a gar public garden, a park, right, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And so I've asked you this before, so I kind of know the answer. But um, as we're gonna get going, as if these are not arranged in chronological order, and you although there is a department of city planning that will visit at the back. You did not plan the whole city first. You just, it grew really organically. Yes. You're collecting found materials and they're suggesting ideas to you and vice versa. Yes. And it just sort of kind of like inception. Right, exactly right. Yes. In a workshop. Yeah. And that's that's what I, I and that's really how I work often anyway, is as you know, and um, I get these ideas and I don't really think them all the way through necessarily because if I did in a I, good way. Yeah, in a good way. Because if I did, I wouldn't I wouldn't make anything that I made. I mean I built a house in my studio that was life size and and you know and, I and couldn't get it out. And couldn't get it out and I had to take it apart. <laughs> but but anyway these all managed to come out very nicely through the door. Um, and yeah so I um, I started with a, some houses and it developed into making more buildings that would go within the city. And um, I only put in things that I would want in my own city. For example, there's no hospital right. because people don't get sick. Exactly. There's no police because we all know why. Yep. <laughs> Etc. Yeah. There's no bank because we don't use money. There is a fire department because accidents happen. Right, you know, and cats get stuck. Cats and get stuck in cheese. Right. Beautiful. Right. And then and then we'll we'll move. And you okay. know what I'm now thinking it might right. be kind of fun if we move together oh, like on this. both sides. Yeah. Right. Oh, you that's know what cool. I mean? You can face each other. Mm -hmm. each other yeah. <laughs> so and then the final thing to keep in mind as we move through this is that it's not is that this I I don't just want to gloss over this idea of the found object. Right. Because you are very, very funny. <laughs> and all a lot of the things are jokes so we're yeah. not sometimes it's like i built a little sofa and it's like a little tiny dollhouse box i just need yeah. a couch there most of the time there's something very specific in the object the scale yes. the imagery and etc okay. that goes in to the building that it's holding up right. so i definitely want to make sure Right. We highlight some of those little yeah. bits of magic and humor as we, Thank you. As we go. And right. I call those um, visual puns. Visual puns. Yeah. Exactly. And that's what most every one of these pieces has hidden in them. So, so okay. So, you got your coffee. coffee. The breakfast joint, which is open all day for coffee, and it's it's all sunny and nice on the outside. And there is a, a nice little cozy rain wall happening over here where you, you can enjoy your breakfast in a nice little drizzle zone. I didn't even notice that part. Of yeah, the part. That yeah, because you want happen. right, of course. You, you want to be inside while it's raining outside. Yes, yeah. that's what you want. Yes, yeah. Actually, I think oh, so I'll be up with me. I think okay. we're going to okay. call okay. an audible because okay. this is actually now working out yes. really beautifully. Nice. That's, that's how she nice. works anyway. Same. Yeah, exactly. So as we're going through, you know, the, the public swimming pool, mm -hmm. here's the firehouse, which is the most adorable thing that ever happened. <laughs> and as you as you start to look at it, it's like the Bells are real. Yeah, and that's a the, five alarm. A five alarm yeah. fire. Yeah. The truck itself forms one of the walls of the structure. Right. It's so really this always takes me to a really beautiful, like red rooms kind of yeah. place. It, yeah. I grew up in New yeah, York in Grand right. Central, right. always had those big and sweet. Right. And all so the water tower, which is actually one of the more literal pieces. Yeah. Water yeah. tower. And located near where it's needed. So there was thought put into also 
where these pieces were set up. And again, um, because I set it up here, it's different than when I had it in my studio. And, um, you know, so the, the order of things changes as it, wherever it gets set up. But that makes, makes sense. sense. Yeah. Who needs yeah. water more than firemen and gardeners? Exactly. Right? And the garden, which is adorable, not only because the gnomes are sort of human size within yeah. this garden, <laughs> right. finally, but also because it's actually at a certain point made out of seeds. Yes. And so yeah. you have, yeah. I mean, if I needed, I don't know if I could plant pepitas and get pumpkins or uh, not. No, but, but the fact is, this is not art making material. So that's one of those moments. Yeah. Beautiful. Yes. The school. The school again has um, a little vehicle running on top, you know, next to it. I like to I like to put these little vehicles in here sometimes because they, I don't know, they they just add some much more to the piece um but also structurally which is like it, you know it's not like you painted it no i put it's a whole part new, of the right, structure right, and i, right, I love right, that right, that right, that's right, my favorite thank thing you. yeah you know public transportation is very important right the fun right. house a little bit this is in. probably yeah, exactly <laughs> the this is probably i would probably um be living in the fun house because um i just like the colors and and uh you know but also the fun house House to me is the piece that looks most like your art. Yeah, looks very much out so. in right, the world right. without this context. Right, right. This, is this could be anything. That you make. Yeah, yeah, true. And I and so there's drawings and paintings and things tucked yeah. in and behind. Right, and it's sort of abstract, except of course you know it's a structure. Exactly. So for me, like, and I know this is one of the earliest ones you did. Yeah. And for me, I feel like <laughs> it's called the Fun House. Um, like I said, that this one reminds reminds me the most of what all of your yeah, work looks right, like, right, no matter what. Right. Um, the market. Mm -hmm. Made with an egg carton. Made with an egg carton. So I, you know, run to the market for eggs, very yeah. cute. Yeah. And then, you know, we get over here and it starts to get really elaborate. Yes. Right? Yeah, yeah. So the carnival, I think, is pretty self-explanatory. The doghouse is everybody's favorite. Uh, yes, and and people think you know somebody said to me, oh the doghouse that's not where you want to end up in the doghouse. But I was like, no, this is a fun place to be. Um, these guys live like kings and queens. <laughs> they have their huge uh, hydrant right Public here, art. and their little family portrait inside. And in the back, uh, there's a swimming pool for them to enjoy. And you know, yeah, I was gonna say if you to treat met how people treat their dogs, I mean. Yeah. You the know, dog house. The dog, the dog, yeah, yeah. I love that. And the carnival, of course, again, a little bit redundant, but what I love about this one is the clothespins yeah. because the clothespins, that's one of those things that's right up there with popsicle sticks, that childhood craft impulse, right. Right. imagination, right. illusion. And what happened with me when I was making this is um, I, uh, I thought of, I was thinking of like that old at POP in Santa Monica when I was a kid. We used to go there and they had this old rickety roller coaster, wooden roller coaster. And so I could imagine that. And in my studio, I'm just sitting there and I go, well, oh, I want clothes picks. You know, I mean, I, I had them and it's like, that's that's what I visualized. And I knew that it would be painted white. And um, this was fun to make, actually. And uh, then and I, it also know, has this, I mean, if you really want to be like that, it also has this very like, 20th century modernist sculpture, yeah. like this kind of Joel Shapiro, yeah, yeah. Like, right? Yeah. yeah. In space kind of happening. Yeah. And, 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 uh, and that makes me happy. Yeah. Too, is that, you know, it is kind of all fun and games. It's a literal carnival. Right. But those kinds That's of considerations true. that you're having are right. also, you know, right. Let's not forget you're making. I'm making contemporary. Right. Exactly. Not, yeah. to, not to bring the tone, not to bring it down for anything. Yeah. Let's get Thank silly you. again. There's a graffiti, graffiti wall. Now the graffiti wall, um, which I apologize for making our amazing <laughs> walk all the way around. Yeah. And there's two sides here, but you can take a look at this side, probably it's easiest to view. Now, this is one of the last pieces. You made. When did this one happen? Um, no, this was made during the- Just right the, in the middle Yeah, it was everything, yes, yeah. Now, did you, and so what I love about this graffiti wall, is that it sort of is a graffiti wall. Like in other words, you built a wall and graffiti it. Well, actually I found 
Okay, so that's the other thing. Better. I, I found this was all put together. It was actually the top of a fence, and I found it this way. It wasn't obviously it wasn't painted. So I thought, oh my god, that would be perfect for the graffiti wall. So I graffiti it and did my thing to it with the string and the plexi. And um, so that's and, and I love graffiti and you know I think that it's very important to have it in the neighborhood. Beautiful. Yeah. So in your own city, there's no mural ordinance. There's like no, please it's not, decorate. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. 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 And again, it doesn't matter because it's no, moss. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I love that trust in the community. But that, yeah. um, beautiful. And so chorus, meditation center, mm -hmm. all of the things that, you know, a beautiful uh, conscious eco-conscious community would have in it right. a lot of this kind of thing and you talked about um the park you talked about Camp pacific park right yeah, yeah. well this I, I was talking about this one uh this one is the last piece that i made and this i made um during the pandemic and it's called one world park and um it's a place where we could all come to speak and be heard and feel united as a as a people. And, and it's so, literally built of a talking stick. Right. It's a talking stick and there's a labyrinth in there that you can walk and it actually spins on a device that we don't like the name of um, for some of us. <laughs> and Super busy so, high achieving <laughs> Susan. <laughs> right. <laughs> Never stop Susan is what that's called. Um, that's beautiful. And so this was this is the last piece. So that was piece. the last piece. So that's sort of, uh, but everything else, like I had said, was pre-pandemic and um, and was interesting at the time when I was working on this, I thought, okay, I'm gonna do this and it's gotta get out now. And, you know, so I started like shopping it and put, setting it up in my studio and I felt like it just, now is the time if ever. And then of course, you know, something came along to bite me in the ass on that one. And so I packed it all up, mock, packed up mock and put it up off to the side. And that was like a year and a half ago. And um, so to be able to show it now feels like it's really right. Like it then seemed right, now seems right. right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, and that's the perfect thing yeah. because we're actually yeah. at the Department of City Planning. Right. And so again, kind of like to be serious again for a minute, which it's not super easy to do in this room. <laughs> but what you just said about the pandemic, one of, and again, this work, the idea and vast majority of the actual work itself completely predates the experience yes, of the pandemic. Yes, yes. However, one of the biggest, possibly most course-changing things to come out of the pandemic is a global and at the very least citywide effort to understand and redevelop our public spaces in a different way. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there are political considerations having to do with freedoms and policing as well. It happens to be mm -hmm. that it's a city with no police, right? But you know, all, you know that it's a city with no money, right? Because yeah. capitalism is right. buying it toward the soul, right. and we don't need it here right. because we have other ways of creating value and sustaining each other. And so, those are ideas that are like a utopian art of oh, no cops, no money. But now, guess what? Our political discourse is about the problems with the toxicity of capitalism, the imbalance of power with our safety infrastructure, right. public safety, so-called infrastructure, and our physical infrastructure in the way that intentional community can be built with city planning. And this is like what gets yeah. the judge up every morning. It's like, <laughs> how do we build more intentional communities and more equitable communities with all this infrastructure building? Right. And so it's kind of weird. Is it weird? Yeah, no, I just, and I just realized, because the other thing that there is no hospital. And so, because we all are well, and we, we go to the, um, the, the wellness, wellness uh, pavilion or wellness, I don't forget what I, I call it. Wellness um, pavilion. Just take a trip over here to the, yeah, the wellness pavilion. And, um, you know, it's a place where we all go to just stay centered and get recentered and, um, you know, work in the Zen garden and with our crystals and evil eyes. And there is a magic eight ball if, if you, you know, all else fails. But that addresses the idea you just said about, you know, about big pharma 
and all that stuff. It's like we don't have to worry about any of that because that's not here. Right. So and like the biggest building is the art museum. Yeah. Which of course which I'm looks showing. like an art museum, which is well, first of all, because yeah. the joke is like if somebody wants their city to be in the news, they build an art museum that looks exactly like this one. Well, there you go. And this was made out of stretcher bars and um and stretcher wood bars. Panels. Yeah. Out of so stretcher I mean, bars. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So that's that's what I'm talking about too. The the verbal, I mean the uh, visual puns. Yeah, it's it's um, it's really now so at this good. time you might be wondering also like well where's the people of mock that is a good is question, that a good question? Yeah. you're not the only one that is here right so if you come over here to the community center which is in the center you can see the community and here's the people there we all are, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the kind of the central gathering place and um built out of reclaimed know. adorable cinder blocks yes. and mirrors yes I love that. This and that reminds me of my favorite Frida Kahlo piece ever from when I was a kid in the, in the Museum of Modern Art. It was a little self-portrait of her and then a little mirror and a painted frame of hers and it was called Frida and Me. Really? Yeah. Right? And I'm like <laughs> nine and it's like, okay, that yeah. is maybe the most incredible thing I've ever yeah. seen. But, you know, see yourself in the work. These are That's ideas right. that we throw out there. Right. And so once again, you're making it literal. Yeah. Yeah. This a fun piece that I, I really had a good time making and I think every neighborhood has the old guy's house, old guy's house. right and it's like you know in a state of disrepair and held together with glue and string and wire and um and uh but you know um he, he's the talk of the neighborhood without really haunted. without really knowing about it yeah and yet in the front there is the perfect front lawn that you can almost hear him screaming at, you know, stay off. <laughs> stay off my lawn. I love it. Oh my gosh. Um, we should go, let's go this way. Okay. Because I feel oh, like yeah. we've walked miles on. We it. already have, yes. Yeah, so Actually, I, I, I forgot your are on. Definitely. So, um, so you guys are getting it now out there. You're understanding yeah. how these structures are made. Here's your cafe. Here's the cafe with the best coffee uh, being made. Um, right next to the bookstore yeah, where it should be. Which is also, um, it's called the Book Haven and it's built on a bookshelf. And um, they have all the books that you would wanna read. The Real Story, Best Book Ever, Read This Book. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, you could just, stay, I mean, I could stay here for hours, right? In yeah. this little corner here. And um, it's beautiful. It's know. very, and uh, yeah, I mean, well, everyone's going to have their favorite, right? They're going to yeah. buy themselves. I'm all about the book and coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't, I've lost track of the dispensary. Oh, we'll go, we have to go back. Maybe yeah. that would be the good place to That's it. We could totally end yeah. 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 Um, you know, this, the motel. Now, this yeah. one to me is the most kind of, um, dollhouse-ish in the sense that you built it and it looks exactly like what it is. So maybe yeah. talk a little bit about yes. um, how this one maybe is a little bit different from sure. the other ones. Well, this one, um, I knew that I wanted to make a motel and I knew that I wanted to make it with one of those flashy neon signs. And I happened to have this piece of wood that I collected a long time ago um, at the brewery actually in their trash. And I, because I remember distinctly coming across a bunch of pieces that were like cut weird. And so I grabbed it and I cut into it more and decided that that was going to be my neon sign. And I got a little key that um, says this must be the place. And it's a hotel, motel key. And I added that to it. And then I just really started channeling, um, you know, um, Quentin Tarantino motels and in movies and, and diners and old 50s places. And I thought, this is the kind of place I want to make that I think would fit in mock. And it just kind of came to me. And one of the things I love about this piece, too, and one of the things I love about building my work in general is that I change perspectives. All the, the inside, time. outside. Yeah. And so what you can see on this side is that all of a sudden I was doing the front and then it's like, oh, well, I want to be able to see the back because it's going to be a pool there and rather than than um 
rather than enclosing it all, I just kept it open and just had the pool intersecting with the rooms, um, you know, like that. Yeah, the theater has that the theater too, has where right it will come yeah. around there. So yeah. yeah. Oh, this is perfect. So the yeah. theater from the front is like a door, a window. Oh wait, maybe that's a stage set. Right, it is. Right, but it's yeah. also is it the entrance it to the theater or it, is it exactly. a set on the stage? Exactly. Yeah. And then as you go around the back, yeah, the stage door. Yeah, you see that it is actually fact, is the entrance right. to the theater. Right, right. And so those kinds of things are going on all right. throughout this yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, um, just underscoring the idea that sort of like complete realism is not it's not the goal. well it's yeah <laughs> not well, it depends remote. on whose realism we're talking about right. so you know i mean yeah that seems that makes perfect sense to me it makes perfect this, sense you know, like a dream yeah, yeah it exactly. makes perfect sense when you're in it exactly right don't worry right. about later right right the white house is pink now in case yeah, you're and wondering and this i did during, uh, before the election and i was just like thinking to myself you know we need something to change here. Yeah. So that's so, as close to yeah. the political that's protest as, close to, exactly. as, right. as you need to get. Right. Involved. It's called the Pink, not White House. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite buildings also is this uh, apartment complex because everybody has a place to live in Mock, whether they have a house or they live communally or in this apartment complex. And this, this encompasses in, in, every everything that I do also in terms of my painting and mixing photography and drawing and building and, and the assemblage and the assemblage and screws, all of that. The string, yeah. the, the straw right, by the flexi that yeah found photography right but in this case once again you get a situation where that's an exter it's an exterior as though yes. as though it's a mural yeah but it's also a window right into her right. apartment exactly. Right. She maybe seems like she wants to be alone yeah. right now, <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> or she's with someone. Nobody cares. Yeah. There's no judgments yeah. no, involved. That's just yeah. one of the things about it. Right. Do what you want? It's your home. Not yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. And then with your best life. Right. Yeah, but that's sort of like you know you can see inside, but it's not really inside. Exactly. All of that. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Playing with the dimensions. This one is is uh, basically what it is. This is the idea station. This came to me in the middle of the night one night when I was enjoying myself and thinking, you know, hey, what if there was a place we could go to get ideas? And so the idea station, um, you shouldn't even be bothering looking inside here because it says there's no ideas in this box. Um, they're all outside. Get it. Get outside it. the box. Hardy, hard, hard. Get it? Yeah. Get it? So there's that. <laughs> no, but again, I mean, it's such a perfect encapsulation yeah. of all the sort of constructivist surrealism right. that's going right. on right. in the work. Right. That's, that's exactly interior. That's exterior. it in that show. That's it yeah. in that show. I love it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, and okay, remember the bookstore? Yeah. This is the, the back outside. Side. Yes. So I, when we're done, I'm yeah, going to be sit right going here. there. Okay, yeah. Forever. Yeah. yeah, you can stay, you know. There's I mean, also it's a beautiful tree. And we'll hold your place with the bookmark. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. I really do. Oh, old guy's house. Mm -hmm. Music before I go so Now, this is where all things music happen. And um, music is a big part of, of what I do and what my life is about. And so, what you may have heard when you came in was a soundtrack that I put together. Yes for mock. So in the catalog, there's the list that, that gives playlist. you the, the song list, um, the playlist, right? But in, in the Music Emporium, we have an amphitheater up here and um, I made the record all squishy. And these, uh, the benches are actually made out of piano keys. I love and how the record is melted in a way that yeah. looks like a, like a tortilla a, yeah, shell, I, but it's actually like a band shell. I was thinking of um, those band shells yeah, are weird. Right? Yeah, and I was thinking of Hollywood Bowl Hollywood in a weird Bowl. way. Yeah, but like crinkly. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. So it's all things music go on in here. And um, puzzle, puzzle, puzzle again, very yeah. self-explanatory. Yes, exactly the kind of thing you would expect to find it on. And what's also interesting is during the pandemic, puzzles were huge. And I have always been a huge fan of puzzling. And so um, I felt right at home by making 
you know, making this puzzle place and thinking, oh, perfect, we can come here. Sorry. Right, and it's yeah. funny because my my eye the cross line. I'm looking at the back of the drive-in theater. Yes, and that's another one of those exactly. things. Exactly. When you built it, it was nostalgia. Exactly. And then it became finally something yeah. we could do. Yeah. Again, out of necessity, exactly. not out of nostalgia. And what's interesting, I had some younger people see this. And they didn't really know what what <laughs> those posts <laughs> were because they because I guess now it's a new yeah yeah right Bluetooth so anyway yes the uh, the drive-in uh, is also has the speaker boxes connected right here and it's also made out of a silk screen uh, thing so that's there's the a other screen. screen pun right literally yes yeah. silver. Right. This is why I love right. it. See, it's, it's almost too good. It's too good. It's almost too good. Uh, uh, sorry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, it's like I, I have to it's tell great it's flirting being yeah. too okay. good. Okay. Yeah. Um, speaking of flirting being too good. Yeah. The dispensary. The dispensary. Well, I use your term all the time, Shana. Um, I'm Cali sober. Cali sober. And uh, so, as you might have noticed, there are no per se here. I mean, there is a restaurant you can get your drink on. There's a food and drink restaurant, but this is really, uh, you know, it's where a you weed go. and coffee kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah. And you can see it's on grass and it's made out of a pot and matches and rolling papers decorated. Roach clips. And the address is 420. Suspension bridge. Right. Mm -hmm. The so, pipe yeah. is a pipe. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so, I think it's really it, the piece. Yeah. Pipe. All, right. Yeah, and I mean, it only, well, and it only makes sense. Yeah, it totally makes sense. It, I mean, well, uh, it would almost be like, where is it? And, well, and it my, I would love to ideally build one of these life size. That one. And, and this is, <laughs> I, you know, I'm down for that. Yeah, that would be my mm -hmm. No, it's true. I think this one, yeah. I mean, the bookstore, the book, any yeah. of the cafes, yeah. I think, yeah. honestly, any of these, I mean, honestly, I need to see the whole thing. Lifestyle. Well, there to we go. Yeah. Honest with you. So I need I need several acres. Yeah. Um, and so a, if a you're generous a benefactor. Yes. Right. Right. Um, oh, we didn't even talk about the skyscraper. Oh yeah. Yeah. Please. This is um, the skyscraper, obviously. Um, See, it's got a scrape of colors and yeah, and skies and, and sky. Yeah. And it kind of goes all the way down. Um, it's large skyscraping building. No, I mean, I really love it because it's very, um, I love that it's, you've sunk, that it's yeah, sunk a little, yeah, right? Yeah. Because it, it is a skyscraper, but it's not, it still it doesn't have that crazy dominance. Right. I didn't and, want it, I didn't yeah. want it to. Yeah. I mean, the building is taller than that. But exactly. Yeah. And there's a building, which every city has buildings in progress. And so that's that. This is um, um, when Frank there you go yeah this one is very funny to me the art studio, the art studio. maybe this is the perfect and this is the end yeah. yeah and we have 20 minutes left so oh. we can start well, wrapping up and then open more, but in terms of making you yeah. follow us around yeah and if anyone has and then we'll do questions, questions yeah. afterwards yeah. Yeah. yeah um so what i think is so funny about this is i built the art studio and i could have made it as big as i wanted and done anything that I wanted to. Mm -hmm. And so I started making it. And before I knew it, it became this size. And most of it became storage for all the crap that's in the studio. And when I was realizing, oh my God, I've only got this space for the studio. So really and truly, in fact, the truth is an art studio is never big enough because you're always going to fill it with whatever and it's so accurate. it's just very it's funny to me that like that. oh my god yeah and especially my studio yeah. as like you know it's got stuff well your saved. studio what i need everyone out there to imagine is this right, right. i need you to imagine susan in this yes but like <laughs> half a football field of that yeah right yeah yeah it's about this size maybe a little smaller yeah but, you know and yeah. it's yeah and it is yeah. like this yeah it is like the art studio this is a a legitimate like scale model of right. your studio situation right. except yeah i don't have the 
doors of crayons, but yeah. The basic yeah, thing. yeah, basically. Yeah. And 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 I love that because and, and this is something we we talk about all the time, but for anyone who is an assemblage artist, right? Where this is, you know, one of the more minimalist type of pieces that we might expect from you. Mm -hmm. this, this idea of it's a fine line between random hoarding of useless trash yeah. and being an assemblage yes. artist. Yeah. Yeah. So you mentioned that there's a super seminal piece, the very iconic foundation of the, your dream motel was literally in the garbage of the brewery. Yes. So now that we've done a little bit of a walkthrough and we're back at the at that HQ, yes. let's talk to them a little bit about that part of what you do. Yes. Not only in mock, but in your in practice in general. Right. Like what is it do you like how what is that? Like did it did you start out as a hoarder and decide to channel <laughs> the energy into something creative um, or no, you know, uh, that's did you a start out a minimalist yeah. and experience math and trauma? Like, what happened? I uh, that's a good question. All of the above, but um, I um, uh, I think really um, wood just really appeals to me. I mean, that's what first gets my attention, and and finding wood, and also economically, um, you know, when I when I was I've been making art for years, and it was like, oh, you know, I could I could make my own. Uh, you know, panel to paint on. And so then that became like, oh, I love to build and I've always loved since I was a kid. So let me put on some more little extra wood pieces or whatever. And so the wood kind of um, calls out to me and I find it and people, it finds me. And so, um, you know, I kind of know like, oh, this is a really cool piece. I want to keep it there. And people for say, maybe oh, years. For, for, for years. And then there's other pieces where it's like, uh, not so much, or, you know, it, I it, should want this. Yeah, and I don't, I have 10 of them already, and I've already, you know, but, but like this, the, I would take more of this wood, because I, I know I, I like to use this. Board. Yeah, or so it's kind of an, an, um, an organic innate thing that I have, and I don't know where it comes from. Uh, I don't consider myself like a hoarder, but, per se. Of cer right, but of certain things, like, you know, and I have to be careful not to take my husband with me, sorry, Bob, when um, when I'm looking at, because he, he doesn't get it sometimes, and he's like, come on, you have enough, let's go, let's go. And you're like, I just need to look at, see what's in that, yes. that what's yeah. in that. Right, yeah. right. So, just one more dumpster, right. Bob. And it could just be, you know, this, but. Uh, um, but as and, you can see, you needed this. I needed, and, and also the other thing is, when I first started working with Foundwood, yeah. I really used it as it was until I got a saw. And so once I got the saw, which oh. wasn't that long after working with wood, but um, now, you know, I make it be whatever I want, but it's, there's something about if it's got texture on it, if it's got markings on it, if it's old, um, sometimes new wood can attract me too. This is just really nice. You know, I like, I like the look of this. And so there's no rule, you know, it just yeah. kind of like, I feel it. I love that. Yeah. I love that. And um, all right. So before we go to questions, yeah. Um, my last quest, my last yeah. question before we go to their questions is about the Department of City Planning. Yes. Because obviously there is an element of unplannedness yes. and organic growth. So in a way, I feel like this is almost more like the city archive. It's like the, the like the museum of the city of Moss or something. Yes. Like yeah. because you're yeah. sort of, you're making notes, you've got your list, right. but it's like you're keeping track of what's happening right. rather than laying out a plan and then we let this yeah. going. That's going a good point. It, right? Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. So I, I have found that um, people like to feel like things are planned out. Yeah. And so often people, you know, how did you think of this and how do you start and this and that. So I often will include some plans up here in, in, in my shows, in my installations, which kind of can give people maybe a background idea of the planning. But this is all done after the fact. After. Um, means right. nothing, yeah. <laughs> and um, <laughs> and um, so in joining this with the real planning, this is what how I plan the city. This piece of paper right here is pretty much it. Where I have- I think a, you mean these three 
raggedy pieces of paper taped together. Yes. Yeah, and crossed out and and doodled on and and notes notes and craziness, and that really I have a big pillar in my studio, and um, it's a concrete pillar in the middle of it. And so when I would get an idea, I would just started like taping up the the names of the buildings I wanted to make and songs that I thought would go on the soundtrack, and um, and then and so I had this little section in my studio that was city planning, and I thought that's just. It just is so it's funny to me. It's, it's too good. Just, it's just hilarious. Yeah. So when I came to this space, um, I realized that I would have this whole wall. And I thought, well, why don't I extend the so-called city planning, which yeah. really is non-existent, but is. Is now. You know, is now. Yeah. And so the pieces that I included, um, the bulletin board that had like the notes tacked up on it, um, and uh, I included the wall work, some of the wall work I had been working on before mock, which to me was kind of pre-planning. Yeah. Well, I always loved that whole, construction. Yeah. So yes. that orange yeah. and white stripe, we've talked about right. that many times. Right. Because I feel like that's such a lively element of something that could even be an abstraction and yet right. it is also doing its function. Right. And exactly. so that and he should have guessed by today is it's my happy place with all this, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And something that both is itself and represents something bigger at the same time. And right. The, and the wall works are so clean and crisp by, by comparison. I know. <laughs> so I love that you decide to include those yeah. as well. Um, oh my God. Okay. So I think that's, I think that's it. basically, I mean, we've left a few secrets here. Yeah. So anyone who wants to come and visit the installation while it's still up, there are still a few about 10 buildings and locations that we didn't explore today. Right. So there so are still secrets waiting for you here and making it necessary for you to come and visit in person. Right. Right. Which is always a treat. Okay. And again. Oh, the, the map. Yes. The map. And this so, is, and this was again after. At, well, yes, and this was because um, I had put this all together here, and I realized, you know, maybe people want to be able to get their bearings here, and so I started doing the map, and then I realized that I kind of ran out of room, so I just made it squish in there in the section of, of uh, yeah, so look under, under here, yeah, you can start here, or, or you can start here. Right. Right. As we did, we yeah. started both here and here. Here and there. Yeah, it's very, it's a very helpful city. It's very yes, easy. Yes, it's very around. easy to get around. And, and if you do want to come visit, um, I'm here in Mock, hanging out, and I'll be here till October seventh. And um, you can book your appointment through Michelle at therendant.com. AKA our very skilled camera <laughs> woman today. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. You know, I can't see it, but she's got the most amazing like handheld. It's totally, steady, huh? you know, totally pro. Like yeah. future filmmaking. Yeah. Thing, yeah. Yeah. So thank you very much yes. for going with the flow today. And having thank us. you. Thank you. Um, are there questions from the audience? Do you think? Uh, I don't know. Do you know. So, yeah, I think, um, Cindy, if anyone has a question, you could kind yeah. of your raise, your, raise your hand either virtually or um, ask, unmute ask yourself and Cindy can unmute you. And yeah. Unmute yeah, you that can unmute yourself answer. or I can unmute everyone right unmute now. Oh. Yeah, I was really worried we were going to have too much fun. I was going to make us know what I know. <laughs> so, anyone with any questions? I mean, should we go to the carnival or the dispensary? You should get more caffeinated. There's so much to do here. No, oh, here. Michelle is, um, and for Susan and Shayna as well, is that camera probing showed us angles that I couldn't even see in person. That was oh. really incredible. So this was a really, it was really, really cool to be able to see like all of the details that's in every single one of these structures. Really incredible. Yeah, that's a great comment. And yeah. I appreciate it because that's one of the things too, is like when you're in here seeing the show, there's treasures that you cannot reach by staying proper. Right. You've got to 
get you down. Gotta bend down. You got to stay get down under the table. Down and dirty. They get like all the way down on yeah. all fours. You have to stretch. Yeah. And you have to go behind and you have to go up on your tippy toes and right. look in the top. Right. And you have to get right <laughs> up on it and look in the windows. And there's like rewards for that behavior, yeah. which is not like you're supposed to, that's like not how you're supposed to behave with art. Right. It should be. Uh, 17 inches above the floor and centered and something Yeah, like please don't breathe on right, my sculpture right, right, or whatever. Right. Breathe on it. Yeah, breathe on it, sneeze <laughs> on it, you know. We have a so Yeah. We oh, have sorry. a question yeah. from Emily Frayer. Can you okay. read show? Go for it, Cindy. <laughs> okay. Are there any other artists that you drew inspiration from when creating your pieces, or would you say it was completely your own ideas and imagination? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> For Shana. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, okay, so. Um, Shana, you can know, you move your in a bit of a perception area? Sorry. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, what was yes. that? Uh, the reception's a little bad. Oh, okay. yes. Come close. Okay. Right in front of Mark. Right? How's, how's this, everyone? Great. That's, That's perfect. perfect. Thank you. Okay. Um, there's lots of artists that I admire, and um, Shana has pointed this out to me several times, and she really re reminded me. When I was a kid, I saw, um, not a kid, but I was young, saw the Red Grooms show that came to LA, and I was blown away by Red Grooms. I still have that catalog to this day in my house. And so a lot of that kind of, um, you know, quirkiness came through. Um, I love Noah Purifoy, of course. Um, uh, but Louise Nevelson, we talk about yes, a little bit. Louis, right. I mean, there's famous stories about her dragging like wooden produce crates to dinner in Soho because she didn't want to take a chance it wouldn't be oh, on the curb well, anymore. Well, all, yeah. I mean, yes, yes to that. So, um, and yet also, this just seems to be the way that I, I mean, I, I have my own style too. So when I build, it's going to look like this. And, um, you know, I, but I spent a lot of time building a lot of structures that are much bigger, that don't look anything like this. They're all wood, there's no color, and um, or very little color. So, um, you know, yes to the, your question, and also it comes from me as well, and, and my whole practice for many years that I've been doing this. Do you feel like, following on that really good question, do you feel like, I mean, I always hesitate I'm like trying to say, I guess I feel like, you know, the, the motion of like the word coming off the wall and into the sculptural space. And now, you know, the itch gets bigger and bigger. And now you want to start with one of them, like right, right, but that's right. not good. When you right. accomplish that, that yeah. won't be enough right. for you. Right. So, I mean, do you feel like this is kind of like forward momentum? Like you're going to continue in the this, this sculptural installation, maybe even architectural mode yes so it's okay. not like the next series i mean you don't know no but it's not like okay i did that i'm gonna go back to like the easel now it's like you're still moving forward with this yes so good question because like i had said i i built most of these pre-pandemic which was like a year and a half ago um and after we made i made a catalog and then i boxed them up and moved them to the side of my studio I have been working for the pet, you know, after, since then, I've been working on other things and I'm actually in the middle of making a time machine. And, um, and it's, it, you can go in it. And, and it's bigger on the inside. It's bigger on the inside, yes. And um, so, yes, I, I, I feel like, okay, I've done these and now, you know, let's do something. And, and it's along the lines of, um, it's, it's very much suspect, suspended belief you know, about it. And this is a time machine for the present. So it just kind of lets you in on all the other time slots that are going on at this so time right So it's more now. lateral, like it's not about moving backward or forward in linear time, it's about unpacking the simultaneous exactly. present. all at once and now and now and now. And now. <laughs> I'm so tired about okay. so, I swear to God. So it's on oh wheels God. and you can walk into it. So that's, that's and I hope right. to do, um, I have to do a, pre a time machine past and a time machine future also. 
So that's kind of what's happening with me now. And not to say that I don't alternate and go back to wall work because I, I enjoy that freedom because it kind of lets me change focus and do something that's more 2D and yet I still build it out to be 3D, but um, if I have too much, uh, when I don't have as much room in the studio, I'll do the wall work. When my wall is still up, right, studio's never big enough, see? So we actually, we have one more question. Okay, perfect. So from Natalia Silva, she says, was there ever a time when you were unsure about which materials you wanted to use for a specific piece of mock? And do you have a favorite material that you worked with during your time creating mock? Um, there was uh, a time where I was going to make a, the theater and I was having a real hard time and because uh, I wanted it to be like a theater in the round at first. And so I made it out of like these sticks and it was a hexagon shape. And I thought the sticks could be the bleachers. Yeah. And so, and I was thinking, then I got this beautiful red material from one of my friends at my studio. And it was like this red velvet. And I wanted to use it to be like the curtain or to be something in that theater. And I tried for the, for the longest time and it just was not working. I, I mean, I, I cut it up, I glued it around the stick and I did all this and it was, it just was making me so upset that I, oh, wow. I thought, no, it's not worth it. So I put it aside. So it's there in the studio in pieces and may become something else at one point. But I settled on the theater to look like this instead. And um, so that's, that's some material that I didn't use. And my favorite material would be the wood. I mean, honestly, no, no questions about it. Just whatever. Um, when I when I would decide on a piece that I was going to make, if I was going to make the breakfast joint, I gathered a bunch of wood together that I had, and I this seemed like this reminded me if I if I colored it with yellow, it looked kind of eggy, mm -hmm. and so that was like oh well let's put that I want that in there. So it's also that weird ceiling tile that's and in every a, and right and it's yeah. weird yeah and it's got holes in it you know so the wood definitely speaks to me and I listen. Ooh, that's, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that's just that Somebody write that down. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Isn't there another question from <laughs> Donna? Oh, yeah. I love you so I much. Oh, oh, sorry, guys. Just oh, one, yeah. one more question. Okay. Well, I'll let you guys um, okay. So the question is from Donna Lynn. She's asking Is there a building in your city you wish every city or concept should adopt, or that every city should adopt? Um, there is. Well, there's gotta be, yeah. What would it be? Um, the wellness or no, the, the park. park. The, the, the park, I think, is something that would be a great place, and that and that was kind of made as the period to this group, you know, to the, to this series. It's like, and now there's this, you know. I mean, every city has a lot of these things in it, like I've mentioned. Um, there's no idea station, maybe the idea station. I think that'd be a cool thing to how things do flow. You go, right. And you just go, if you want an idea and you can't think of one, you go there and you can get one. That's an excellent choice. I totally agree with that. That's so, an excellent question and an excellent choice. Thank you. So yes, Donna Lynn, thank you thank for that you question. For that. Beautiful. All right. Any lasting remarks? Um, I just, I, I want to invite all of you to come and see this um, special installation that I've created because it's it's really special to me and I and I think um, you'd all really enjoy it and um, have a good time and I'd love to meet you so come and on believe me you would love to meet her <laughs> come on with me <laughs> come on with me <laughs> beautiful thank you so much for this oh, Great. And you don't even need your passport or anything. No. Come on in. It's all on the same time zone, too, so don't worry about it. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Randy. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.